Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick speed test between Android 7.1 official ROM on the S7 and then on the Note 4, so I know the Note 14 with Android 7.1 as well. Of course not official on the Note 4, but uh, it is the latest version of Android at least. So as you can see, glass back S7 and the Note 4 here. I can't use the Note 5 because I dropped my own one and Note 7, something is having problems with. Uh, so let's go. Okay, sweet. So we have been running. I also have uh, installed Google Apps and the Google Pixel Launcher on the Note 4. I was thinking we can maybe also run a Geekbench test. But in terms of startup here, it looks like Note 7 is no no not note 7 s7 is superior here uh, with the official rom very very nice startup speed there with the new ui over here which looks very very clean and there we go 7.0 let's see here Okay, there we go. It's starting up now on the Note 4. Android is starting. Huh. Never seen that one before. That one looks a little bit wrong. But Cyanogen mod. Maybe a little bit glitchy sometimes. Uh, but as you can see here, here is the Google Pixel launcher, which is on the new uh, Google phone. Did it just stop to work? Okay, there we go. now it's smooth. Let's try it again. As you can see, very, very smooth pixel launcher, and you can use the Google thing there on the side as well. Uh, it doesn't, of course, have Samsung's new touch with apps UI. And that app was slow. Okay, now it's working. But as you can see, sometimes it's just a little bit random slow, but uh, up here, as you can see, it is a bit similar, but you have less uh, things you can tweak here compared to the default uh, Samsung here. And uh, this one has 7.1. This one I only had 7.0, I think. Yeah, but at least it's, it's Android 7. Uh, and if I go into Geekbench here, you can see Android 7.0 here, 7.1. Let's see if we can do a quick uh, CPU benchmark test to see what kind of a score we are hitting. This might not be able to run on the Note 4. Oh, yeah. Maybe, but is it too slow? Perhaps not. Around 5% on the Note 4, 13% on the S7. Uh, the Synergy Mod 14 version here on the Note 4 also has uh, dim lights, so for bedtime you can change the uh, the uh, the kind of like the color temperature on the display something that iPhones uh, has been getting lately so you also get that here on this Synergy mod so that can maybe be something for some people um, something next year 2017 coming up something with their S8 probably want to have a nice revenge for the failures that they did with uh, the Note 7, that they lost a lot on that. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, that something's going to do some interesting stuff probably next year, work a little harder. And then of course the iPhone, which is turning uh, 10 years next year. First iPhone, 2007. Um, we might see a pretty cool redesign of the uh, of the iPhone for for next year, iPhone 8 or whatever now they're gonna call it. That can definitely be a little bit interesting. And uh, yeah, 
I cannot, you can probably see here also that the display already right here is a little bit more yellowish uh, on the Note 4 and that's just because of the ROM even though I have disabled the color temperature to change it looks like the default is still not pure white as on the S7 display which is, I don't know, it's a little random and uh, see here how it is going it seems to be running fine on both 64 percent on the s7 and 49 percent on the note 4 seems to be chugging along great here doing some pdf rendering there and on the s7 and some aes i don't even sure what aes means on the note 4 but some kind of test there. I mean, it's testing all kinds of things like uh, browser rendering speeds and uh, opening images and downloading maybe even. Uh, I might do the um, the Okla speed test app as well to try that out in a video. It was a long time ago I used the Note 4. I'm not sure why I stopped to use it, but I think it was because the Note 4 turned slow on some some official Samsung firmware because that's usually what happens when I stop using a Samsung device let's see how it is moving along 80% here on the S7 66 on Note 4 hmm. So it's finishing up here in a few moments. Huh. Let's see the S N hitting ninety percent in one second, and uh, should be a pretty big difference. I'm pretty sure between these two phones in terms of in terms of. Uh, the score they're hitting it here because it is a few years between them two or three years uh, which is kind of crazy actually actually did it came out 2014 late I think so so around two years Okay, there we go. We got score on the S7, which is 5,083 on the multiple score, and under 2,000 on the single core score. Let's see here what we are hitting uh, inside of the Note 4. Running some speech recognition stuff. 88 percent. Hmm. Both are also connected to the same uh, kind of Wi-Fi here, which I am using. And as you see here, uh, apps and stuff like that loads up very, very fast on the S7. Oh my god, that is so retarded. Oh my god, that is so retarded. <laughs> okay, so... Clearly, uh, we can't see the test. We can't see the score there, but um, uh, the S7 was faster, so that can be good to know. And uh, yeah, that's what happens. Cyanogemod, or you know, just Android software sometimes it's not that perfect. Uh, yeah, quick video, check that out. How else, mate?